In the future, self-driving cars will navigate fluently through cities without a steering wheel, without a driver. The user gets free time. Free time that we at Audi call the 25th hour of the day. We distinguish between three main categories for future in-car activities. Quality time, which people spend, for example, actively with their children. In productive time, people typically work. Examples of downtime are leisure activities such as reading or watching a film. This May, we did a lab experiment at the Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart. We wanted to know more about this precious 25th hour, the free time you will spend in your self-driving car. How can Audi create true premium experiences fine-tuned to the unique preferences of each Audi user? There's a strong trend towards saying not one solution for everyone, but rather an individual solution. Audi built a lab exhibit that resembles a futuristic car interior, very clean, digital, networked. We wanted to know, how do digital signals, lightning mood and audio stimuli in the automobile affect the human brain positively or negatively? For example, the stress level and the ability to concentrate. While wearing EEG caps to measure brain activity, test persons were confronted with stimuli which made it hard to concentrate on solving tasks. But then we filtered these virtual messages out. We also changed lighting to blue, which supports the ability to concentrate, turned the windows opaque and altered the volume of noisy distractors like city chatter. The results proved that the human brain is calm in surroundings which are optimized for mindful use of time, but on the other hand is challenged when processing even small distractions while concentrating on a specific task, like when you work in a car. When digital overload occurs, then several things happen in the brain alongside solving the problem. A strong focusing of the brain, the concentration splits. There are several things to concentrate on simultaneously, and particularly the visual impulses are very strong then. Based on the Fraunhofer findings, our conclusion on how to create a premium ambience in the interior is that we need ideal conditions for each time mode. With the 25th hour, the car becomes an intelligent membrane between the users, the city and beyond. This is how we will redefine the premium idea.